Denver, Colorado. Uh, so, I am now standing before my superheroes. My superheroes being you firefighters. And I know all, all you say is it's just a job, but I know different. I grew up near the metro, metro area living a semi-homeless lifestyle. Because, unfortunately, I was unsupervised, I often made bad decisions. One night, four years ago, I had climbed a tower at Denver XL plant around Decatur and 10th, and a bolt of electricity burned my entire upper body and threw me 30 feet to the ground. By luck, a light rail had passed and a passenger had caught in for a fire and a kid to the fire department, thankfully. Um, so the firefighters that arrived shortly found me and saved my life. I never met those men, but if I could, I would say to them, you guys are a blessing from God. You are angels, you are my angels sent to me. I cannot express my gratitude. I spent the next full year in children's and UC medical hospitals, recovering from getting, recovering and getting skin grafts. I have been to several burn camps, and to me, they are places of opportunities for many who have experienced traumas and burns. The camp offers comfort and support and a way for us to get back into society as our individual selves. In camp, we do a variety of activities. The teens, which are known as the older cabins, were taught to ride horses and then go on a three-day hike. Uh, three-day ride on a hike. <laughs> My bad. We, we do hikes, archery, rifle shooting, uh, fishing, and crafts. Lots of group activities. The younger kids stay active too. In the evening, we all gather around a campfire for bonding and expressing ourselves. We each break down our day into three categories. Roses being the great things that you liked about your day. Thorns being the worst things, or at least the bad things you didn't like about your day. And then the buds being what you're looking forward to in the future. The main thing I learned from camp is that being my authentic self in society is my number one job in life. Never be a copycat, but be the best self you can be. It is all about self, heart, mind, and soul. I have made a lot of friends at camp. We all have a special bond. We've all had different experiences, but we share that we are all burned victims. We come together because we, because burned survivors we are. A couple of other things I have learned at burn camp. I like eating three meals a day. I like an occasional early morning hike to watch the sunrise. And I have learned that everyone should be there, should have at least some time away from their cell phones. At least for a, a, a week a year. You know, this year was different for me. I was a kill, a camper in leadership training. And is this is offered to the 17 to 18 year olds. I was in charge of taking care of five, five younger kids, ages eight, nine, and 10 years old. And I supervised them in the cabin at night. Every evening, I would walk, I would talk to the staff and tell them how my day went. They would give me tips on how to set up for the next day and how to help the kids stay in control, as well as help lift their spirits when one of them was feeling down. What I learned from being a kill, like it or not, I've grown to be a formidable leader. I have what it takes to be, to be a leader, but I need more time and training. I could have learned, I could have lead my left. I'm so sorry. Um, Yo, good, man. <laughs> I could even leave my own company one day, if I please. Overall, there are many things that I have get, gotten from burn camps. I have gained confidence in myself that I would have never done alone. 
And I don't mean alone, only about my good looks. <laughs> I am fond of myself as an individual and I have passion to work on challenges now and in the future. If I had not attended those burn camps, I think that life would have been very different for me. I believe that it, it, it would have been a tough situation to simply live the house and go to school as being myself. Many days would be what I call morbid. This is, that is what I say, gray and gloomy with no sun. Time would seem to go on forever. But now I have a new perspective. I see opportunity everywhere. Life is attitude. I know that for most of us campers, we are able to attend burn camps only because of donations. If I had to pay, I don't believe that I would have ever been able to go to any of them. I also know that donations are voluntary. There is no requirement for anyone to give. But if I could speak to any donor directly, I would say, you are appreciated every year we get together and become a burn family without any judgment or discrimination. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts.